welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, Spirit, please show me January 5th. What messages do we have? Wow, we got the yin card. So... In love, that's talking about letting love just flow to you. It means you don't have to run out. You don't have to go searching for it. I feel like it's something that can just flow right in. And when it flows right in, it's because you already have a full, or, or your cup is already overflowing. So instead of you waiting for someone else to fill your cup, so to speak, um, I feel that your cup is already full. So let's go ahead and read the relationship message. It says, let others take the lead right now. Your pot power lies in small gestures, soft awareness, and conscious surrender. By yielding the reins, you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire. Permit others to tell you who they are and who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised. So, you know, it's... You don't need to run right out and go looking for a relationship. All you have to do is be in the flow and one will come to you. All right, these cards are all over the place. So, Spirit, please show me. Sorry, I just saw the star. So, ooh, hopes, wishes, and dreams getting ready to come true. Spirit, please show me what messages, what guidance do we have for January 5th with love. Please show me their love messages for January 5th. And, of course, I say January 5th. But it could be March 18th, you know? And sorry, that was a sloppy, very sloppy um, shuffle. Okay, there, wow. Okay, we've got the Magician, the Nine of Wands, and the Lovers. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. So I'm telling you, you already intuitively know that you are manifesting a relationship coming in. I mean, you've got the High Priestess and the Magician, the One and the Two. So... That's a very um, spiritual combination. The high priestess and the magician are like the husband and wife in the higher octave, right? And then you've got them right here in the lover's card. And I told you, 2022 is the lover's. Now you also have the two here. So we are, I mean, you're at this place of like, I know I'm manifesting the, the love that I have always desired um, and I feel like using this new moon energy, because I do see the new moon right there on her crown chakra, um, I feel like intuitively you already know. So it's, I, I, spirit just showed me as above, so below, as above, so below, as within, so without. Nine of wands. Protecting everything that you've worked so hard for. But I don't feel like you're in this place of battle. I feel like you're just at this place of complete surrender. Okay? I know something's coming in for me. She's got her eyes closed here twice. And then look. Here's the lovers. I don't want to say anything more about this. <laughs> like, I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Spirit, please show me their love. What love messages do you have? You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Virgo, a Gemini. Got one card out. Wow, we got retreat. Okay. And Spirit, please show me January 5th. Okay, getting to know each other. And look at that soulmate clarifying the lovers. Okay. Bottom of the deck, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Maybe you're needing to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I think for a lot of you, you are conversing with this individual in the spirit realm because the heart-to-heart -heart conversations is showing up underneath the high priestess. So for some of you, maybe there's some type of, if you already know who this person is, maybe this person retreated, they walked away in the past, and I feel like they're they're coming back in order for the two of you to get on board. They want to have this conversation 
and you manifested them back. For some of you, they've been manifesting you to come back in. And yes, if you're wanting to know if this is your soulmate, absolutely, okay? Um, I don't feel like because I have the high priestess, the magician, and the lovers, I am not feeling like this is a today, January 5th reading. I feel like this reading is going to go out through this year. Everybody's going to be on a different time um, on a different uh, wavelength, basically, of when these things are going to just magically appear. But for those of you who are single, um, there is someone here who is wanting to open up and have a conversation with you. They want to get to know you. Um, but I feel like maybe you've been a little bit of, like standoffish, if you know who this individual is. Um, or maybe they see like you have a lot going on in your life and they're afraid to come in and disturb you while you're taking care of all the things you're taking care of. What does this person want to say? What does this individual want to say to you? They are saying, please be patient a little longer, okay? So, again, this is about patience. This is about, you've you got to just let things flow to you. That's what the yin card is talking about. This isn't about, you know, she's not, she's got these wands here, but she's not running out and making things happen. She's just kind of standing there and just waiting for things to come to her. She knows they are. She sees it in her mind's eye that this is what's coming. I'm sorry for lying to you. Maybe that's why somebody here retreated, if you know who this individual is. And they're saying, you're so beautiful. Look at the way he's looking down at her. Like, she is just so beautiful to him. Bottom of the deck. No one makes me feel the way you do. Loving this. For others of you, this could be somebody that you met while you were on a trip. That's what the retreat is saying. And you're just kind of waiting to see. I, I feel like for some of you, this could be a long distance relationship that you're also dealing with. Maybe you guys are just talking to each other on the phone. For others of you, you, you know, and maybe you don't know where this relationship is going to go, but you need to be in the flow to allow it to come to fruition. The magician here is saying, you know, this very much can if you guys are willing to get to know each other on a different level. You know, maybe in the past you, you're you used to just jumping into bed with somebody and now the universe is keeping this boundary between the two of you so you have no choice but to get to know one another on a different level other than, because that's what the South Node in Scorpio is talking about. South Node in Scorpio says you don't have to have sex with somebody because Scorpio rules sex, intimacy, penetration. It's saying value yourself. North Node in Taurus is like, make sure that this person values you, okay? And it's not just a sexual relationship. Any one of us can just lay down with somebody. It takes a lot to be able to trust the other individual that you two could actually have something more with one another where you actually have conversations. Yeah, the sex will come, but you don't need to immediately jump into bed. Like I said, the sex will come. See, they're both naked, but they're also both clothed here. So it's like, if you want to go the distance, this is the way it needs to be. The universe isn't, you know, playing games with us anymore. You know, it was easier to go through the dissension process than it is to go through the ascension process. Like, everybody liked it, you know, in the past when we could just sleep with whoever we wanted to, we could do whatever the hell we wanted to, and we just created chaos in our lives. Now we're going through the ascension process, which we what we've been doing for the last couple of years, is ascending to a higher level. If you want a higher level of commitment, then you need to respect and value yourself on that level. Otherwise, you can just go out and sleep with whoever you want. But that's not going to get you to the long-term results that you are trying to manifest. Not a bad message. Spirit, please show me what messages, what guidance do we have for these relationships. Look at that. There it is. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And then we got... Okay. And we have... 
If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And one more card, Spirit. Oh, there we go. All right, we got two more. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And then we've got surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. See the nudity in all of these cards? Okay, I'm, I'm seeing it here, here, here and here. I mean, there's a lot of, but that's also a place of vulnerability as well. Being in a, in a place of, you know, feeling vulnerable and also loving your body. That's what this is talking about. It's like loving who you are and not being insecure. Anyway, you guys, I want to say I love you all so very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. You guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I do appreciate it, and I will chat with you again tomorrow. Take care.